there you go that's what he looks like <laughs> from the back oh, I just, how do i start the video it was a wednesday evening <laughs> the 23rd of january so it was two days before my due date and i started getting contractions it started off very mild so five in the morning on the 23rd the whole morning the whole afternoon the whole evening and that's when it got really intense they weren't like every minute or so they were still like every five to seven to two minutes so i wasn't really sure what time i should go into the hospital my boyfriend wasn't with me he was about an hour's drive away and i told him by the way i think you know they're getting quite strong now i was on the phone to you and i was like i had to stop talking to you to breathe through oh, them that was a good thing huh that was a good thing <laughs> So, yeah, I was like, I think you need to come now. And you was like... I'm coming. No, <laughs> to start with, you was like, yeah, I'll come later. I was like, no, my contractions are here. I need you here. But you was like, no, no, I'll come like in a few hours. I was like, you can come in now. <laughs> so I'm coming in a bit. Hmm? So I'm coming in a bit. Yeah, coming in a bit. What does that mean? You ended up coming straight away when I told you. When I was at 11, about 11-ish. You arrived about sort of 12, 12, 30. That's when I was like, oh my God. Because I was on the toilet, as that happens. Flushing out, your body just naturally flushes all the stuff out. Mm. And I was like, this must be like, something must be happening now because it was getting really intense. So luckily you came on time because an hour later, was it an hour later? So we actually went to the hospital and I was actually four centimeters, which means you're in active labor. First midwife wasn't that great though, was she? But after that, my sister-in-law's auntie came in she's midwife and it was so much easier from then but i had to i had to stand up when i had contractions i could not sit down because my stomach was just like just hurting but i was so tired and in so much like pain that you and my mom <laughs> had to keep picking me up i think that was quite tiring that's yeah, quite tiring because <laughs> the contraction feels like mild and then all of a sudden it gets this like peak and that's when it's like really strong and you have to really breathe through it but i didn't want to take any pain relief so i was doing this without any pain relief up until the last sort of five hours was it see i don't i can't remember all, everything i think it was the last sort of five six hours is when i actually took gas and air but before that i just did everything without pain relief but when i took the gas and air you said that i was like better through the contractions but I personally feel like they were exactly the same but I was just so tired and the gas in it made me tired like I was like oh my god <laughs> <laughs> I was like is it coming <laughs> yeah and she had me in all sorts of positions she had me on this thing that looked like a toilet seat on the floor mm. I had bean bags I had the pool which I really liked in the pool but because I kept mentioning in my previous videos that I really want a pool birth. I did have that, but I think she thought the baby pooed, but it's actually my urine was just so, I was so dehydrated, it was quite dark. So I had to come out for her to check me. Turns out it wasn't poo, which is lucky, because if the baby poos, they have to do a C-section because it has to come out quick. But because my legs and my feet were so swollen, the the heat from the pool was like making it worse because you had you had put flannels cold flannels on my head which was really nice yeah, it works. when the baby is really low like when you're at sort of pushing stage you don't get contractions which felt so good it was like a relief but you get this real big urge like your body's pushing the baby down and then when you do get a contraction you don't get the pain but you get that feeling are you, are you trying to confuse us no it's it's hard to explain when they say ring of fire like, that is so f***ing true. I have to beep that out because I'm not asked for Why? When, because YouTube do stuff to your video. If you swear? Yeah. So I've got f***ing Well then I have to beep that out. Can you not make it, my editing worse for me? <sighs> anyway. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> it literally does feel like stinging when the head is out. So I was like screaming <laughs> on the top of my lungs because <laughs> I was like oh my it's like a whole new feeling and I was like panicking because I was so tired and that gas in there made me really like drowsy mm. that that new feeling was like what what the hell but now I that's the thing is now I know what to expect I feel like I'll be better the next time why do you keep saying next time 
I'm going. I'm just jumping now. You're doing, you're doing too much. You're doing too much. Because I don't know where to. I don't know how to do this video. I should have written it down. You should have bullet points. So we should have told them you were sick. Oh, I threw up all over the floor. That was nasty. Then you pissed yourself. My dinner. <laughs> I pissed myself. Then you pissed yourself. Well, obviously they make you. Like, this is what I didn't know. And you shake yourself. Apparently, but I don't know. I didn't see it. Yeah, you shake yourself. Remember when you stood up? You like you shake everywhere. No, I'm joking, you didn't shoot. I was going to say, I don't remember that. <laughs> was I there? No, I think I did pick that. You know, you know when I... Huh? No, I, I did. You did. A little bit. Yeah, that's nasty. Thank God I didn't see. No, you know when I kept saying, maybe oh... Not, maybe that's when I fell asleep. Oh, you... No, we'll, we'll get to that bit. Oh, this is, is going to be a long video. No, listen, right. When I kept saying to you, oh, my, I, my body's like pushing, because like when I was going through the contractions, I was breathing, but my body was like pushing but she said don't push because I was only eight centimeters then and by this time my waters hadn't broke yet even though the first midwife said they have broken wait hold on do you remember she said oh your waters aren't broken she had to break my waters and it went everywhere I'm really confused what day are we at I'm jumping <laughs> I'm still okay forget the whole baby's coming out bit I've I went too far let's like rewind a little bit what the hell are we doing with hands <laughs> <laughs> rewind Oh Let's rewind a little bit. Are you gonna do the little you? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, man, We're at eight centimeters now. Attractions are getting more intense. <laughs> oh, what bit am I at? How about this? Yeah. How about that? <laughs> What's the worst thing about childbirth? About labour. I don't think there is a worse thing because it's not, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. But the contractions are when they hit their peak. Oh, do I really have to go through this again? Like another one's coming in two minutes or one minute. But we had a little emergency at the end. See, all the whole thing was fine. I only had like one midwife and a student doctor, which she was really good. Was she made me yeah. squeeze her hand. She was like, yeah, just squeeze my hand. And I was like, okay, <laughs> I'm going to squeeze it. And she was holding the gas and air for me because I needed you to hold on to, I needed my mum to hold on to, and then she was holding the gas and air. And then when one of you went out the room to get a drink, and I was like, where's my mum? Where's, where's, when I say your name, where's Duda? <laughs> you know, I need someone else to hold on to. And she, she was there and she was great. And then for the last about five minutes, they had to ring the buzzer. But by this time I was on the floor, baby's head was out. And they said, right, you need to get up quick. You need to get on the bed. We need to get this baby out of you now because basically his shoulder was stuck in my pelvic bone. So... Maybe it was too hench, that's why. We're hitting the gym hard. But he wasn't a big baby though. He was only £7.9. Yeah, but he came but, out with six pack and like, muscle <laughs> on his, on his He came out like... Yeah, yeah, his shoulder got stuck in my pelvic bone and they had to basically get me on, on from the floor with his head out onto the bed, press the emergency button, Loads of people ran in, and I was just like, oh, what the hell is going on here? And then two women grabbed my legs, pulled them back, told me to push, and I think someone was, was someone pulling his head out as, mm -hmm. at the same time as I was pushing? Mm -hmm. They did that in four minutes, and they basically said we have around seven minutes to do that in, or it would be literally rush you out and forceps. Mm -hmm. If that doesn't work, then cesarean, but like literally that quick because he's losing oxygen basically and he was at the point of it was like yeah it was quite bad if he went further than that all was good anyway they got him out in four minutes they they rushed him out people kept coming up to me like are you okay don't worry he's out there blah 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 he, they're just you know checking him over and I was like like I was absolutely fine because I knew that, that had to happen so it didn't bother me but at the same time I was so tired I was like I literally just don't even know what to think right now. If your partner's there, don't spit all over the gas and air mic as well. Let him take some gas and air. <laughs> I was like, this is good to like chew on to. I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. I, was nasty. I was making so many noises. It's unbelievable. Yeah, like, so, so it sounded like a goat. <laughs> I was like, like that. <laughs> sounded, like, sounded like a friendly ghost. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't doing that, but... Um, One time it sounded like a horse. A horse? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what. You, something came over you that day, man. I know. Labour is messy. I was going... <laughs> 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 
like that. Okay, I've been <laughs> blown you away. <laughs> but I see, I don't think child labour was as bad as I was. Like, I went in there with no expectations because I, I didn't know what to expect. So I was just like, go with the flow. After, when the baby actually comes out, it's, it is true what they say, the pain completely stops. Everything completely stops and you just feel like this sense of like oh, relief. Hmm. I could just be like, oh my god, all that is is ended, and it felt good. Mum, mm. do you want to do you want to say what you thought about the delivery? Hey. <laughs> hey? <laughs> what? Do you want to give your opinion on on the labour? What labour? <laughs> on Greece's labour. Why? <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> It was good. You did really well. See? <laughs> oh, that was it. No. When I was pushing the head out, screaming my head off, I had you snoring behind me. I was snoring. You were snoring. It was just... So I was like trying to focus on this and pushing the, the baby out, and at the same time I was hearing you snore. It was like the weirdest thing. <laughs> Mom, <laughs> seriously? <laughs> I'm recording a video. You got, some, you got some fingers. I've got some fingers. <laughs> Is it chocolate ones? Or bread ones? I've got it. Oh, for hot dogs. Ah. Halal though. Jesus. <laughs> then I gave birth to the placenta. This lady came round, gave me an injection while someone else was doing something else to me. I'm pretty sure it was about a minute or so later. <laughs> um, they <laughs> pulled the placenta. That was weird though, because she had to push my stomach and it was like tug of war. Mm. It was like she was pulling the placenta out, the cord, and then the placenta just came out and I was like, oh, that's weird. So it kind of felt like giving birth again, but not with so much pain. But it, it was a bit like, oh, okay, that was weird. Mm. And then she put it in this bowl mm. and then you, that's when you saw it. Yeah. And you was like, what's that giant kidney? <laughs> they had to get me on this bed to that bed. And I was like, how am I gonna do that? Because I had to be stitched up, so I had to be on a special bed with the things you put your feet in. Anyway, those took an hour to stitch me, because I had second degree stitches, um, tears, sorry, and I had grazes as well. I thought it was meant to be a story. It is meant to be a story, but I can't, I can't do stories. I just have to say what is in my head. Went home six hours later, because I didn't want to stay in, and I was fine not to. Yeah, he's perfect, isn't he? Hmm, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> He's now two months old. He was born the day before his due date at 39 weeks and six days. Natural delivery, didn't have to get induced or whatever because they wanted me to, and I was like, I'm not getting induced. I kept telling her, I'm not doing it. And she was like, but the baby's got to come out. And I was like, but it will come out when he's ready. And he came out a day before. Fantastic. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna end it here. <laughs> what? How can? Uh, you know. Yeah. Follow my Instagram because that's when you'll see, you know, updates and stuff. Because I don't really do YouTube videos as much at the moment, but I will do. Now I've got a new ring light. What is that creepy smell? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video.